This engine was purchased from the factory in September of 1923 by Henry and Emil Seasnop of St. Peter's, Missouri. They paid $2,518 for it. It was delivered by railroad at a cost of $102.66. They fired it up on a rail car and drove it to their farm, and it has been in the Seasnop family ever since. I'm not sure who's doing the driving, but he's doing a good job. We've got a Nichols and Shepherd. This is our track. This is a 1915 2075. That means that there's 20 horsepower on the drawbar and 75 on the flywheel. It's been at our show over 30 years. Belongs to the late track Galloway, and it's now part of his estate. And that's Brian Kester doing the driving. I'm sorry, I don't know the other guy's name. Thank you. Have you got a whistle? Okay. Chris Kloster's the driver. Thank you. Okay, this engine belongs to Charlie and Forrest Gladney and Ruby Wing. This is the uh, engine that's part of the estate. It's a 1912 Rumley. It is a steam engine. It's been in the same family since 1960. Can you give me a toot on the tutor, Forrest? restored it to the engine, restored the engine. In 1992, Irvin Bruins bought it, bought back the engine, and it's back with the Bruins family of Silex, Missouri. There's about five generations of Bruins that run this engine. Four, I'm sorry. Okay, give us a toot on the tutor. Okay, thank you. This is Ron Eisenbath and his 1922 Baker steam engine. It's a 2175, was restored by Edgar Landermeyer in the mid-1950s. It was made in Swanton, Ohio, and shipped to Lincoln County in 1923. Now, it has a whistle off the New York Central freight train. I'm going to ask him to blow the whistle. If you have hearing aids, cover your ears. It's extremely loud. Please, Ron. Driving a 1958 Farmall Cub. 
which was purchased in the spring of 2006. Right behind is her husband, Tom. He's driving a 1948 Farmall Cub, and it's in the original condition as when he purchased it in 2005. It's driven in memory of Paul Foster, who was one of our older members of the expression. This is Jerry Konersman's 1952 Farmall Super C. I'm not sure who's driving, but it's not Jerry Connorsman. So I won't. Oh, it's Jennifer Grummich. I'm sorry, honey. Okay, this is Jerry Connorsman driving his 1950 Farmall C. He's got a sidekick with him. She's probably telling him where to go. <laughs> Alex is her name. We all tell Jerry where to go. <laughs> but he still sticks around. 